the next step for your birch tree painting is to add shadows to the sides of the tree. So for this, you need to determine where the light is coming from. In this sunset painting, it, this area looks to be where the sun is. So I would actually paint a shadow down most of the tree that is near the viewer because the light is coming from the other side. In a painting such as this one, where it's hard to see a brighter source of light in the sky, I could just pick the left or the right side for the shadow. For your shadow, you're going to create a neutral color by mixing a pair of complementary colors. So I've chosen to use blue and orange going to test it on a piece of paper and that looks like it needs a little bit more blue maybe once I have that color I'm going to go ahead and paint it down the side of my tree and I want to use a fairly dry brush for that that only has paint in it. So I dry my brush on paper towel and then use the paint and start on one side. And in this case, I'm starting on the left side because my light source is right there in the middle. Remember, this is going to dry lighter than it appears. So this looks very light right now. As I paint it on, the paper gets wet and that makes it appear darker. Trying to keep it down one, just one side of my tree. This next tree moves to the right of the light source. So I'm going to move my shadow to the right side. If you have a sunset or a sunrise, you could also paint a shadow on the ground. So I would just take my shadow color and paint it right over my watercolor paint that's already there. And it should be going away from that light source. So I finished this painting and now I will show you on the midday sky, the shadows. So this one has clouds in the sky. I should also put shadows on the bottom of those clouds because in this one I would like the sun to appear high in the sky and then the bottom of the clouds are a little bit darker. So I will start with that. I have my neutral color mix. This is a little bit more blue and I'm just going to carefully paint a very light shadow down along the bottom of my clouds. And then I will paint the shadows on the trees. I cannot tell a light source in this painting, so I'm going to have to determine where my light source is coming from. I'm going to say that it's coming from the left-hand side of my picture, so I'm going to paint shadows for my trees on the right-hand side. And I want very thin shadows on this one just to show the difference. Carefully painting down the side, trying to keep it right on the tree. It gets a little bit off, that's fine. Did not show up very dark, so I'm going to just do it a second time. Shadow 
windows. And since this is a midday sky, the sun would be high, um, there wouldn't be a lot of shadows on the ground to paint like on the last picture. 